Now that y'all know that your prefrontal cortex doesn't just magically form when you turn 25, please, please, please stop saying that your prefrontal cortex forms or comes online when you turn 25. I've upgraded my setup so I can be crispy clear when I tell you what your prefrontal cortex has been doing your whole life. Welcome to the first episode of Prefrontal Cortex 101. Today, we're talking executive functions. But before we get into that, my credentials. My name is Dr. Jasmine Eketia. I'm a cognitive scientist with a PhD from Brown University. I completed my dissertation at Columbia University, and my PhD research looked at the role of lived experience and context on early childhood executive functions development. Executive functions are higher order cognitive processes that your brain uses to plan, focus, remember instructions, and juggle multiple tasks. They're what help you go from, I should do this, to actually getting it done. There are three core executive functions you'll hear about the most. Working memory, which is the ability to hold and update information in your head while ignoring distractions. Inhibitory control, your brain's ability to pause or stop an automatic thought or response. And cognitive flexibility, the skill of adapting your thinking and behavior when the situation or your goal changes. These functions are foundational. They support everything from academic achievement and mental health to managing stress, learning new rules, navigating everyday life, and your overall well-being. Disruptions and executive functions are present in behavioral regulation disorders like ADHD, anxiety disorders, and learning disabilities. These disruptions can manifest in various ways, impacting a person's ability to manage emotions, thoughts, and actions. There are other higher order cognitive processes that are associated with executive function, things like planning, organization, and emotional regulation. But those tend to build on the big three, working memory, inhibitory control, and cognitive flexibility. Like I mentioned, this is just the first episode in the series. I'll be breaking down these executive functions one by one using research and real world examples. Join me for the next episode of Prefrontal Cortex 101, where we'll start with working memory and why your brain is always managing more than you think. If this video was helpful, save it, share it, drop a comment below, and follow for more brain science made crispy clear.